whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. For in the realm of the dead, where you are going, there is neither working, nor planning, nor knowledge, nor wisdom. Ecclesiastes 9, 10. Amen. Right, hey guys, so as you can see, this is my work from home section. Um, so this is where I have my consultations, where I just get work done. And as you can see, it's just not really conducive for me in terms of how it looks, the aesthetic, things aren't really in place, things are a bit disorganized. Like I use, this was an old candle jar. I love repurposing candle jars. I think candle jars are just gorgeous. This is also a candle jar. Um, got my, got some samples. Um, and yeah, these are like more of my samples and color samples, stuff like that. So I just wanna create um, a storage area plus a work from home area that can be, I guess that can help with um, my consultations, my work. Um, and I'm also thinking of getting a new computer, a Mac, an iMac computer. So I kind of need space for that. And I just feel like because this is a foldable table, having an iMac on a foldable table just doesn't sit my spirit. <laughs> My story just doesn't feel right with that, especially with how expensive it is and it just doesn't work and um, this chair um, was an old chair um, that my family and I used um, in our lounge but we wanted to get rid of it but because the chair I had before was breaking, the the, the grey one, I'm, I think I've shown you guys how it looks, the grey one it was breaking, it was just absolutely uncomfortable, like such a bad... <laughs> such a bad solution um, for a chair um, so I got I just took it um, as a temporary measure I knew I was going to change this up anyway so I was like let me just quickly get it sit on it and it's been comfortable I love like office chairs um, so I've bought a ladder desk I've bought a new chair and let's see how that goes Hey guys, so it's been a couple of days and finally my shelf is done, not shelf, my desk is finished. Um, I really, really like it. Measuring is just the best thing that's ever happened, ever in life, full stop, period. Like it's the best thing. I finished it, the chairs put together. I will show you pictures of how it looks here. Obviously I'll record how it looks, but ultimately this video, I didn't really want it to be about like me putting the desk together. I wanted it to be more about um, me kind of making it look pretty, making it very practical. I wanted it to be a practical video where I can show you how you could decorate quite simply um, the desks, um, also making the shelves um, a form of storage. So I have done a lot of shopping <laughs> since I've put this together, since I've put the desk together. And I want to quickly show you guys what they are. So I bought this stunning, what? Are you dumb? Can you see the the okay you're not dumb but can you see the the hello hello can you hear that can you see how shallow that is it sounds oh no i think this is the best view ever this is stunning this is a plant pot from ikea the link will be in the description box i'm sorry this camera is acting mad it's acting mad because the amount of times anyway so this plant pot is from ikea it's ceramic it's got these swirly it's got this kind of swirly ceramic pattern that I absolutely love. It's a matte finish, so it kind of goes with the kind of beigey tones that I'm absolutely in love with, and it really goes nicely on my shelf. So this is going to be where my current plant will go in. This is where Lois will go in. I call her Lois. She's a peace lily. Um, Lois the peace lily is what we call her. This is how she currently looks. This is her state. She's going through a lot right now, so we're not really going to talk about it. So this is also from Ikea. I don't really like this aesthetic. It was actually a temporary situation. So we're going to take this out, 
to put her in her new clothes it's about to be cute it's about to be cute it's about to be cute okay it's about to be really nice so we're gonna quickly change her up give her a quick makeover now that's all my own i also got this from ikea so this is a i forgot the name I forgot the name it's a decorative item that's used to cover candles I forgot it's called a cloche cover I think a cloche cover um, and I want to use it to cover a candle that I currently have but just candles in general I think it's actually such a cute little decorative item I wanted to add to the shelf I think it'll make the biggest difference like I think it's so stunning it's absolutely gorgeous let's talk about this okay we just let's have a quick chat okay because I don't know what I did here but I did it anyway I don't know what I did but I did it anyway okay we don't need to talk too much about it but we're gonna talk about it so this is a vase I love this vase firstly it's not the vase I actually wanted there's a vase that um, Rose and Grey used to sell it was a bubble vase it must have gone viral because at some point not only was I unable to buy it it was out of stock and now they just don't sell it anymore so this is a brand new vase that next have are recently are selling now i love it with all my heart but i don't think it's gonna go on my shelf <laughs> i want to keep it right i really really want to keep it because i think it's just stunning like I, it's just obviously the detail is the is the bubbles in it and it's got this kind of smoky smokiness to it and it's much bigger than i thought like my head is quite big so like ratio you get what i mean i wanted to put pampas grass in it so i've already kind of played around with the pampas grass i don't think it looks that great we're gonna play around we're gonna see what works this might be going back that's all i'm saying let's talk pampas grass so this is pampas grass so if you know me you know i don't really like flowers like that i like grass <laughs> i like grass so i've got these i got this for valentine's day people like roses and i like pampas grass i don't know it is what it is so I got this pampas grass and uh, I love it don't get me wrong I love it but the shedding the shedding is mad like it's actually mad so I'm just gonna quickly spray it if you already know um, there's a hack to stop um, pampas, pampas grass from shedding the link will come up here of how you can do that um, when I did my Zara haul, I kind of showed you guys what I did all you have to do is put some spray hairspray on it and it it becomes tighter stronger um but i'm hoping to put that this in the vase that you guys have just seen i put it in but i think it needs trimming so that it just looks a bit more you know a bit more va -va <laughs> you know i need storage solutions i'm a storage babe i love a good um aesthetically pleasing storage solution so i also got this from ikea these are just like i think it's so cute so i've used this with a client before link will go up there to show you how i transformed her living room to her bedroom and we also bought this unit for her to also decorate her shelf and ever since i saw it in ikea i just loved it so much so i went ahead and i bought it oh my gosh and it matches my um lampshade didn't even realize but i love this kind of wicker neutral um vibe like it's definitely a huge a, a, a lot of me like i love it with all my heart i can definitely see my apartment having this kind of mediterranean rustic um taupe but with like off whites um and like it's just got that kind of rawness to it like i just love that like it's a bit refined but it's also unrefined that's definitely a bit of me and you know i know some of you some of you out there are just like me um but i just love it so i bought these three units this is the baby this is the mum, and that's okay yeah this is the family um then it's just great this is the big size um, and as you can see i've got my measuring tools in here for when i go to clients homes to measure their rooms um, my tape measure out and my digital laser measure out. so it's a great little storage storage um basket so okay this is where i failed absolutely failed also got this from ikea it's a basket storage i wanted to put this at the bottom um to kind of put some files away some notebooks stuff like that but when i say my measurement was absolutely off like it was off let me quickly show you how it looks right quick and easy done it's huge this is huge much bigger than i thought like it's supposed to be like that and then you pull it um this is like the little label that you pull 
I need not to get makeup on this because I'm returning it, but it's way too big. But it's got so much room for things and oh, it's the aesthetic I'm more here for. Um, it's kind of like a wicker, like a woven material. And it proper smells woody as well, like it's, it's the real stuff, you know. Um, I love it, but unfortunately I have to send it back because it's too big for the space. This is the storage box that I bought just to go underneath because I really do need storage and that's what I bought it for. So I bought this one. It's not this like, like, come on. It's, it's just not the Ikea one, you know, but it does the job. You know, it's foldable. If I don't want it, I can just fold it away. No, it does the job really. Oh, these file holders that I absolutely love. It's, it's, I don't know. What I like about Ikea is that they make a lot of things a bit DT, it's a bit DT, that's design tech. So <laughs> design technology was a class that you used to take in GCSE. So it's woodwork. I think America, you guys call it like wood wood classes, stuff like that, where you would kind of make things, put things together. So I hear they can be a bit DT, but sometimes their DT stuff isn't actually that bad. And I feel like this is a bit DT because you can tell they haven't really like, gone over it to kind of maybe put like a seal because I'm pretty sure if I keep touching this I will get the splinter but it does a job and I actually like the look I love the wooden oaky feel it will go really nicely and I've got a lot of files I need to put away so another smart storage solution for you guys so without further ado I, I'm pretty sure that's all I bought and there's other stuff that I'm going to put on the shelf that I've already kind of bought um already have so I'm just gonna go ahead and put all the things together I'm gonna show you guys how I do it how you also how you can just create smart storage solutions um, and have a desk that actually works you I'm going to show you guys different ways you can style your shelves but also provide you with smart and very clever story solutions um, it just doesn't have to be deep do you know what I mean like does the job it looks good and we're good to go and that's what I love just easy quick simple ways of making your workspace look okay I can't clip with my right hand you know what I mean you can just mm, mm. <sighs> I didn't say too much let's get started let me show you hey guys so I had to make the brightness a bit more because um, I'm standing behind lights so the brightness I'll probably look quite dark but anyways that's not what we're here for so I'm just gonna start the shelf um, designs I'm just gonna start putting the shelves together start putting things on there and I'm not really going to talk because someone said in the comments that I talk too much. I don't get straight to the point. So I'm going to get straight to the point. <laughs> I'm going to get straight to the point and I will, I will take feedback. Thank you guys so much for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. I am thankful. I am grateful. I love you guys for real. I really do. So we're going to get started. Um, and yeah, that's it. We're just going to get started. So right guys, as you can see, I have finally finished the shelf and I think I'm happy with it. I think it works really nicely. I think it's really symmetrical. I will zoom in so you guys can see. I think it's really symmetrical. I wanted to make sure that the black wasn't too close to each other, but they were close enough that it kind of made sense with 
the color scheme and the textures as well but these were things i had in my house already um and i'm just really i'm really happy with how it turned out this is definitely my favorite if anything i think this planter pot is just so stunning it's so gorgeous i think it works so nicely with the overall scheme but it's not like in your face like i don't want it i didn't want it to be like heavily sharp i didn't want it to be like oh my days i just want it to be simple effective does the job and i absolutely love it and i think it works really well so everything will be linked in the description box for you guys to check out